Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome again, new episode on how to. So today guys, we're going to install a new analytic plugin for WordPress. The analytics, the analytics plugin is from Matomo. Matomo has two different systems. You can actually have a full analytic system installed on your server, or as done lately, they came up with a plugin that is compatible with WordPress and it will supply you with a full analytic system straight from your WordPress installation rather than having a full server just for Matomo. Again, Matomo can also be installed on a shared um, server. I'm going to show you uh, how you can do that. If you go cPanel, for example, and you got access to Soft Oculus, you could do that too. I'm going to show you fast on that part of the installation, but I'm also going to show you how to easily install a free copy of Matomo plugin on your WordPress installation. I already got a WordPress installation here. And of course, I got the Matomo page, matomo.org, where you can actually download the Matomo uh, script or you can actually download the Matomo free plugin for WordPress. If I go to Matomo on-premise, that's free. You can actually download it by just clicking here. You can go install Matomo on-premise for free, download Matomo, and this is where you can actually download the actual script. Here you can actually install Matomo for WordPress. And this is what I'm gonna do as well. But this is the actual uh, tutorial based on, on the installation of Matomo for WordPress. And it's easy to use. And this shows you how to do it. So if we go back to the uh, WordPress installation and we go to the plugin part of it, and we follow the instruction here, instruction, all we got to do is search for this plugin. And this is exactly what we're going to do. So I'm going to plug it, add new plugin, and I'm going to search for the plugin. This is the actual easy way to install Matomo. And this will be a small plugin, works in the same way, but it's only and exclusively for your WordPress, this installation WordPress. But the actual Matomo script that I'm going to show you later on, you can actually cover many, many uh, websites. Technically, you can actually put as many websites you really want and using Matomo in the same way you use, use Google Analytics. But this will be your own analytics script, free of charge, as it is a open source software. So I'm going to install now. Then I'm going to activate the plugin. All right, so the actual plugin has been installed and enabled. Let's go to the Matomo dashboard by going to Matomo Analytics. You can go to get started if you wanted to, or just click on that and you will be up and running. So as you can see here, it's quite simple. We got a few features here. Now, I'm going to enable tracking now. Now, there are some short code if you want to opt out of the privacy page and all that stuff is up to, you know, by putting this one on your main page, people can opt out to get the information not taken from the uh, analytics. And that will be GDPR. E-privacy e ready. Okay, so you got this as well. You can actually add this on your um, home page. All right. Then we got the summary here, where you can get the summary of all your analytics. It comes with reporting, tag managers, so on and so forth. Again, here nothing to show, of course, as there is no data. But again, here you will have all the summary of the, based on the day, uh, yesterday, this week, last week, this month, last month, and this year, okay? Then you got the reporting. Again, you, you can do the uh, report over the website. Again, I will show you now um, 
all the information needs to be known for uh, to use this plugin. So what it gets powerful is once you start to click on, for example, tag manager, you will get a full blown Matomo uh, experience. And as you can see here, you get a full screen. And here you can actually manage containers and many other things to tag specifics of your website, especially if you have an e-commerce, this is perfect. It works like a tag, you know, tag manager for uh, with Google. It's exactly the same thing. But this time is managed by you and is managed by your server. We're going back to the WordPress admin. Again, don't forget, you can actually find a lot of information on the Matomo website. They got their own uh, forums and they got their own manual. So let's go back to the dashboard. We go to the marketplace. Again, here you can actually have add-ons for your Matomo installation. And as you can see, you got the custom dimension and this is the free ones. Customs alert, marketing campaign reporting, and there is a lot of other things. Of course, there are paid um, add-ons as well, but those ones are the top three. Again, if you want to browse all the free plugins, just click on the link and that will take you the Matomo website where you can actually have a look all the free add-ons. Going back, and again, this is what it was all about. Here that we got the diagnostics. So if anything doesn't really work, you go to diagnostics and you can see if is anything wrong. And by going to the Matomo uh, uh, website, you can actually uh, try to figure out if you got any issues. Again, different server, you might have a problems um, on a shared ones. This plugin shouldn't have any issue, but for the full blown uh, script, you might need a more powerful um, server. So again, as you can see here, uh, we got that some of the permissions required here. For example, again, uh, if I would do it, I would need to resolve this issue. On a cPanel, you should have a problem. I'm running this on my CWP. So yeah, there is a lot of tweaking I need to do uh, to make it work properly. But otherwise, it's a very simple to use uh, plugin. So now let's go back to the Matomo. Uh, I'm going to show you quite fast how to install the Matomo using the script. So what I've done now, I'm going to the, the uh, CWP user panel and I'm going to install the copy of Matomo and I'm going to show you where to actually see the uh, plug, um, the script and how to install it simply by using soft Oculus. Uh, if you use cPanel, even Plask. Now, nowadays, you find soft Oculus on every single uh, hosting providers. There is something is always there. So here we go. Uh, let's go to soft Oculus. Again, CWP does look a little bit different, but on cPanel is more or less the same. You will have all the icons. You go to the script installers and it should be there. On the search, just go to Matomo and that should take me to the installation page for the script. I'm going to press install now. So we're going to choose where we want to do it. And I'm going to choose Matomo, a subdomain that I already chose, the site name I'm leaving, Matomo, username and password. You want to choose the password there. I'm going to leave it everything as it is. And I'm going to press install. Now, as you can see, the actual site has been installed. Now, let's go back to the other browser and let's open the Matomo here. Let's refresh. 
there we go we got the signing for the matomo script as you can see it was simple to install it didn't take long and of course the login and password that we used uh that's what we're going to use it here to log in let's see remember so uh just in case and i'm close to this one i don't want this one here and as you can see the actual matomo is installed so now let's go back to the wordpress installation if i go to plugins and i'm going to add new now for simplicity i'm going to disable the uh, let, let's have a look first matomo um if i can actually get the plugins then i can actually use the external matomo installation to track my website now this is what we got and here or this one here for example can be used to track using the tracking code and this is exactly what i'm going to do i'm going to install this one it used to be uh, wp pwick as well and i think they changed the pwick to matomo i'm going to activate again you might find a lot of others plugins that let you uh, use the matomo tracking in the same way you use the google analytics we go so what i'm going to do now i'm going to let's see i can't find it really uh, that's the matomo so i'm going to deactivate this one here so we know we are not having the same one otherwise we get confused there we go so we only have now the latest one so i'm going to press on the settings there we go and uh, we got everything here installed so here you can actually connect with the api or with the actual tracking code i'm going to show you how to easily connect with the api code let's go back to all websites i'm going to add a new website i'm going to call it test i'm going to copy this part here and i'm going to copy that i'm going to say v of course you can exclude whatever you want so i'm going to leave it really as it is so i'm going to say we got this one here and here you can actually have the tracking code and this is how you actually add okay and that's the code for the particular website i'm going to the API I'm going to click on that and that's it tells you how to do it just in case you have any issues okay let's go back to this one here so once you actually read the HTTP tracking API on the website just in case what I'm going to show you will give you some errors you go into the left pane of the menu you're going to click on the platform api and of course now you're going to click on these authorizations and you're going to copy all right so this is the actual api authentications for this particular website and this is exactly what i am going to do i'm going to paste it i'm going to remove that And I'm going to save the changes. Now we should be ready to go and connected. So as you can see, the changes has been saved and has been connected to Matomo. And that's all you need to do. We go back to the tracking. Let's go to the settings. Here you can actually change part of the settings. Again, if you want to give personal settings you can actually have the admin you can create uh, for example the users each user can have their own logins just as i said like google so once everything has been done uh, you go to the dashboard then we go to the all websites again and here you can actually go to the test that's the one we just uh, created it looks like the actual no data has been recorded yet it looks like that we gotta do some kind of uh, browsing otherwise it won't show anything let's go and have a look some uh, other products maybe 
Uh, so this is just a test uh, website that I use for tutorials. You go back to the old product. I don't even remember if I do have a product, so if it looks than I have. Let's add to the cart. View cart. There we go. Uh, let's do this now. Let's go back and uh, as you can see now has been populated. So now we got a unique visit from United Kingdom. Direct entry. And that's what it looks like. Anyway, guys, thanks again for uh, coming for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did doing it. Don't forget to like, subscribe. If you subscribe, like, and share my videos, I can do more videos. That's the only way you could do to, at the moment, to support this channel. So that's it. Uh, is everything from me, and I'll see you next time.